Google has a major presence at CES 2018. Now, if it isn't the huge stand out front of the convention center, then it's the monorail plastered in Google advertising. It's the huge gumball machine in the convention center. There is a lot of Google here, and it's all focused on its smart assistant, Google Assistant. At the start of 2018, Google Assistant is now on over 400 million devices. But now at CES, Google is taking it a step further. We're now gonna see it featured in Android Auto, inside your car, and we're gonna see the debut of smart displays. Yes, Google is taking on Amazon and its Echo Show with their own smart displays. Although Google isn't making them, they're coming from third parties like LG, JBL, and Lenovo. With Google Assistant, you're getting all the features you're used to in the ecosystem. You have your Gmail, you have Google Maps, you importantly have YouTube on there. In a way, Google Assistant makes a lot of sense on a screen, perhaps in more ways than Alexa. And from what we've heard about prices on these devices so far, they're relatively reasonable, like the smart speakers we saw in the last two years. So Google's big show here is all about impressing what you can do with the Assistant. If it's not making music play or turning on smart lights, it's making popcorn cook. It's making your laundry machine, your very smart laundry machine, work when you want it to. There's so much you can do with Google, and it was kind of baffling to see how many devices here at the show already have Google Assistant inside them. And so our tour here at Google's booth started in that typical tech show way, we all took a group selfie. Then we were taken into a room and we were shown that typical Google day that no one actually lives. Yep, Google woke us up, Google told us how the traffic was, Google cooked our dinner, Google told us where the kids was, Google did everything we didn't really want to do. Now it's easy to be cynical about these smart devices, but they're an undeniable hit. And there's plenty that Google's smart assistant can do that is actually helpful. This is because Google has its hooks into your own app ecosystem. If you're a Gmail user, if you use Google Maps a lot, there's so many things you can do with these smart devices that can really integrate into your life. Google Maps knows where you are, it knows where your office is, so it's very effortless to set a voice command up to tell you how long it's gonna take you. Check the traffic to Ala Mode Pies. Traffic is heavier than usual. It will take 35 minutes to get to Ala Mode Pies. And if you're using Google Calendar to make your schedules for work, again, it makes it very easy to know exactly what you've got on a day as soon as you wake up. Meanwhile, with Amazon's Alexa, it plays to Amazon's own strengths, which is retail and media consumption. Arguably, Google has potential to be far more greater in its scope and what you'll be able to do with these devices going forward. But it's not all home gadgets. Google's making a major push into auto and CES is increasingly becoming half an auto show. Yes, Google Assistant is coming to Android Auto, which means it's gonna bake into many of the cars we're already seeing with Android integration. You'll be able to do pretty much everything you can do with Google Assistant, although there are some limits because obviously you're driving a car. You won't be able to watch YouTube and when you ask for the highlights of, say, a soccer match, you're not gonna be able to see them on screen. You're only gonna get an audio commentary of the results. Google is putting on a major showing at CES and it's all about showing the potential of its smart assistant. Hey Google, let's play Lucky Trivia. When it comes to going head to head with Amazon's Alexa, this is the battleground. This is what we're gonna be seeing in 2018 and it'll be interesting to see who wins. For more smart things, fast cars, and weird robot dogs, check back at Engadget.com.